When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Darling, I... Tonight we are making baked salmon and scallops. We're gonna start off by melting the curry gold garlic and herb butter. How much butter you use when baking your salmon and scallops depends on one, how much butter you like, and two, how many slices of salmon you're baking and how many pieces of scallops you're baking. So I baked in this video four pieces of salmon. So I used in half a stick of butter. And on the scallops, I used 20 pieces of scallops. So I also used a half a stick of butter for that and separate uh, Pyrex dishes, of course. So you have to pre-melt the butter. You're gonna pre-melt the butter and then you're gonna marinate the salmon and the scallops for about 15 to 20 minutes in the butter. The salmon, the butter usually starts to get hard again after that amount of time, which is fine. And then after you've marinated in the butter, you'll start with the seasoning. Make sure you mix the melted butter all over the scallops and the salmon so it can marinate evenly. You wanna get all of your seasonings out that you're going to use. We're gonna use parsley flakes, Old Bay seasoning, everything from Flavor God, garlic lovers from flavorgod.com, lemon and garlic from Flavor God. You can also substitute this with seasoning salt, adobo, accent, I decided to use a seasoned pepper on the salmon and the scallops. Once you've seasoned the salmon and the scallops, you wanna make sure that it is seasoned evenly from front to back. Um, if you decide to use a seasoning saw, adobo, or an accent, make sure you don't use too much because you don't want it to be salty. Bake on 250 for 45 minutes. Make sure you cover it with foil for the first 45 minutes of baking. After 45 minutes, remove the foil and set your oven to 350. Bake on 350 for about 15 minutes, uncovered. Set your oven on broil and bake for one to five minutes. I love for the top layer to be crispy. I don't want it to be dry, so make sure one, two, five minutes. This is definitely one of my favorite dishes to make for my family. They absolutely love it. Thank you again for tuning in. Make sure before you leave, you subscribe, like, my post and also leave a comment let me know how this worked out for you and if your family enjoyed it as much as mine see you later